Scorpio, this is Soul. And Scorpio, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of March 27th through April 2nd, 2017. The messages will also be for Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising. All right, so Scorpio, my fellow Scorpions, let's get into your messages and see what's going on for this upcoming week. Uh, for some of you, uh, you have the energy of the Knight of Brooms in the reverse. Okay, so already, because it's shown up as your overall energy for the week, someone was let down or disappointed uh, by a fire sign specifically uh, but it could have been you know with any zodiac sign uh, and I say that to cover my bases but it, I'm feeling that it's more uh, a let down by a fire sign Leo Aries Sagittarius male or female now this is a general reading this could have been a let down uh, via a relationship or a friendship or something uh, related to you know family business or family structure it could be something involving the workplace environment but someone disappointed uh, my Scorpio's uh, fire sign possibly okay now getting over uh, because the Knight of Brooms let me just this is a you know an upright is usually the knight in shining armor someone coming to your rescue or being of uh, service or aid to you and helping you out in um, any matters that are you know significant for you but when it shows up in the reverse that means that they're unreliable and sometimes it, it oftentimes uh, comes with a disappointment so I'm feeling that someone was you know Scorpio was disappointed by someone from the past and it's in the reverse so it's overcoming that energy even more so because the nine of brooms is coming up next and that's in the reverse. So I like to see the nine of brooms in the reverse because if, if it's not dealing with internal uh, battles and struggles, you know, I see the brooms as different um, areas or aspects of your life. And it's you know more or less coming across as scattered energy as well, too. Uh, but I do feel that it's if it's not internal, then it's external stuff and it's coming to an end if it's other people who have, you know, launched some sort of attack against you. Um, that also is coming, you know, to an end. But the brooms, again, represent uh, that fire energy. So, like I said, it could be directly related to fire energy or it may be related or, you know, indirectly or directly related to fire or other zodiac signs. But this card is more or less being really, really defensive, you know, like you're being personally attacked. Um, so it carries a lot of weight and a lot of energy, but I like to see it in the reverse for you, Scorpio, because it's either attached to the energy of the Knight of Brooms and someone letting you down or disappointing you. And then you're, you know, getting over that, um, uh, you know, that friction or whatever it was that someone handed to you. All right. But there's still residual energies because you have a lot of brooms here. And the five of brooms here. So this is, you know, residual stuff, but it's lowered. Now, just notice that this is the nine of brooms and it's in the reverse. This is the five. So that means that even though this is coming to an end and it's winding down, it's still some residual stuff. Because I think that whatever I'm picking up related to someone disappointing Scorpio in the past, that sort of like pissed you off. And you feel still a little bit uh, defensive. Um, not necessarily... Uh, you know, remotely out of control with being defensive, but it's just like, you know, Scorpios take things to heart and to matter when people do stuff to them, when they know if it's something that is in the wrong and rightfully so. But Scorpio feels it more than I feel for, you know, uh, any other Zodiac signs except, or you know, cancer possibly. You Scorpions know what I'm talking about. When someone does something to you, you know you take it to heart. That's what I'm trying to say. And it really, really sticks with you. So it's a you know winding down of that energy, but you still may feel like you're being either personally attacked or uh, defensive, external stuff coming in from other people and their energies. Or if it's outside of what I just said, 
it could be just some scorpion's energy related to inner restlessness and it's like your energy is starting to scatter and you need to pull that back in and focus bring your focus back in okay um more so i feel that you know friday going into the weekend it, it dealt with a individual uh and this four of cups is connected to this knight of brooms that it brought some sort of emotional um you know, you felt some type of way emotionally from some sort of disappointment. Again, there's that focus on that one energy. The cups do represent love and romance, so it may have been that this Knight of Brooms represents a fire sign connected to um, Scorpio because, you know, the cups represent not only your energy, but uh, Cancers and that of Sp uh, Pisces, male or female. But there's one thing that you're focused on, uh, and there's three things before you. So, you're not paying attention to the cups that are before you, but someone's trying to hand you uh, some sort of, it could be a cup full of love, and you're not really paying that much of attention to this this cup, okay? Um, it's like taking a step back or something. You're feeling, what am I getting with this? Maybe this is a card of amends. Someone pissed you off. Could have been a friendship, a love relationship, uh, you know, a co-worker, somebody in the family because cups represent children for me. And it's like they're trying to apologize, but you're not having it for some strange reason. So that's where I'm getting this uh, feeling that you're feeling some type of way emotionally about a situation or an event uh, related to another person. Uh, but I do feel that the Four of Cups is still a pretty good card of energy. It's just that you're focusing on one particular thing and you're not really looking at the other three things before you, okay? So this is your week in terms of energy. Uh, as always, Scorpio, please take out of it what you can, leave the rest alone. Now, you know, all these readings don't aren't going to apply to everyone, so... Um, it's part of the reason why I always encourage you to look at your uh, moon sign and your rising sign. Uh, but as always, I appreciate you. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Uh, for the most part, whatever uh, spats, fights, or arguments that have taken place in the past, all that energy is starting to winding down. It's just a little bit of residual stuff for those who are connected to that energy. And if it's outside of that energy, then it's also... Uh, the five of and remember the five of uh, brooms is is you know like the tens is something that could occur but it's a clearing it, it's not something that stays uh long term uh especially when the brooms show up because of the fact that fire is just like it comes and it goes so whatever happened in the past you might be feeling some sort of residual effects from that but it's not going to stick around too long okay but then you know it impacted you emotionally or you felt some type of way emotionally. And again, it could be related to uh, children or some sort of a, you know, disappointment uh, in the workplace environment, um, whatever it means for you. All right. So Scorpio, please have a safe upcoming week ahead. I wish you all love and light until I talk to you again. Please be well. Bye.